Underneath that, there's no oxygen, no life. And down there, we found conchs and conch shells and hermit crabs that had fallen into the hole and suffocated, really. Deep in the Caribbean Sea lurks the Great Blue Hole, one of the planet's greatest mysteries. Scientists and scuba divers have long questioned what secrets lurk in its limitless, dark depths. When a group of professionals eventually dispatched a submarine to inspect it, nobody imagined what they would reveal. In the winter of 2018, a crew from Aquatica Submarine started their descent to the bottom of the Blue Hole. The world was amazed by what they discovered there. It completely transformed our understanding of the ocean's secret past. Come along as we disclose the information in this video. The find below the blue hole the team reached an almost otherworldly depth when the submarine plunged down into the great blue hole. At 300 feet below the surface, the shimmering blue light of the Caribbean vanished. They had reached the dense, deadly, yellowish fog known as the hydrogen sulfide layer, which fully obstructed sunlight. Suddenly, the colorful world above went entirely dark. This strange coating not only robbed light, but also life. The air was heavy with the scent of rotten eggs, a sign that oxygen was gone. It was an anoxic universe where time appeared to be frozen and decay ceased. Like a natural tomb, everything that fell through this barrier was perfectly intact and preserved. What the submarine's lights revealed when they broke through the gloom was scary and compelling. There was a cemetery at the bottom of the blue hole. The seafloor was covered in hundreds, probably thousands of conch shells. It seemed like a battlefield of frozen life. The sonar even revealed faint traces near to some of the shells, tiny footprints that suggested these creatures dying moments as they tried to return to life before plunging to their silent grave. It was dubbed the conch graveyard by the squad. The traces of anything that had ever existed above were gradually buried as torrents of sand ceaselessly poured down the hole's borders. In the silent, poisonous waters, each shell carried a tale of desperation and a struggle for survival that would be documented forever. But the shock didn't end there. The researchers discovered heartbreakingly familiar evidence of human waste among the ancient marine life remnants. Human effect was felt even here, hundreds of feet below the surface. Beside a lost GoPro camera with its memory card, still carrying someone's holiday images, was a two-liter Coke bottle. The crew was extremely saddened by the discovery, which served as a tragic reminder that people have damaged every corner of the earth. Then the deepest insight dawned in the solitude of that black gap. Two divers' bodies were illuminated by the submarine's lights. They were undoubtedly among those who had disappeared on earlier missions. The team stopped talking. They collectively chose to leave the bodies unattended despite alerting the Belizean authorities. Pilot Erica Bergman afterward noted, It's very dark and peaceful down there. Just let them remain. It served as a melancholy reminder that exploration is both beautiful and perilous, and that there are no second chances in the ocean. The sonar operator spotted an unexpected flicker on the screen that didn't fit any recognized pattern, just as the team was trying to get over the stress of the situation. There were distinct circular marks etched into the mud at the very bottom of the hole. They weren't haphazard slides caused by falling rocks or movements of shells. These were purposeful, intersecting, unambiguous, continuous, and totally unexplained. They initially assumed it to be a mistake possibly caused by reflections from the submarine's own equipment or sonar interference. But the more they examined, the more the patterns became apparent. They weren't man-made, and no known marine life could have survived, much less relocated, in such a harsh environment. The entire crew was taken aback by the discovery, as was the scientific community. In a place where life shouldn't exist at all, what could possibly leave these marks? According to some specialists, these might indicate confirmation of extremophiles, which are small organisms that can thrive in the planet's most hazardous, oxygen-free environments. Others suggested a geological explanation, such as a sedimentary or uncommon chemical process unique to the blue hole surroundings. However, no hypothesis could sufficiently account for the track's accuracy or regularity. 
They were exhibited on the 3D sonar tape with stunning clarity. They were intentional, circular, and eerily symmetrical. Nobody is certain of what generated them to this day. In their hunt for answers, the professionals descended into the great blue hole, only to discover a more fundamental conundrum. Beneath the silent, black waters is a paradox so profound that it continues to cast doubt on what we understand about life, death, and the unseen forces sculpting the deepest recesses of our universe. But what was the process of organizing one of the biggest trips prior to the Blue Hole's discovery? Continue watching to find out. The mission starts. An exploration of the unknown, one of the ocean's biggest mysteries for many years, was the Great Blue Hole. Its top depths had been visited by divers, but the silent, dark world below had never been thoroughly examined. Scientists understood that required alter. They took the choice to embark on a comprehensive trip in 2018 in order to eventually unveil the mysteries lurking in its depths. On paper, the task appeared simple. Dive, observe, scan, and resurface. However, anyone with experience in deep-sea exploration knew clearly that it would not be simple. The perils escalate with depth, including crushing pressure, utter darkness, and a situation where even the smallest malfunction might be lethal. This dive was supposed to put human endurance and technology to the test. The staff needs to be outstanding to take on such a challenge. Only the greatest scientists, divers, and explorers could finish the task. They required personnel who were aware of both the hazard and the science. For this reason, they sought Fabian Cousteau, a man who possessed both. That last name should sound familiar. The famous explorer Jacques Cousteau, who found a great blue hole in the 1970s, is the grandfather of Fabian. As a child, Fabian never really thought about his well-known ancestry. However, Fabian's family name was not a factor in his selection. Because of his experience, he was selected. Fabian is an experienced explorer, diver, and oceanographer who has committed his life to learning about the most treacherous and perplexing places of the ocean. What was his best accomplishment? Living in an airtight laboratory at the bottom of the sea for 31 days was a record-breaking experiment that probed human boundaries underwater. Few persons on the Earth could equal Fabian's degree of experience. The expedition already had a feeling of purpose and history with Fabian on board. However, an unexpected development occurred when a fresh name was added to the roster, drawing attention to the expedition from all over the world. Sir Richard Branson, a millionaire businessman and environmentalist, decided to participate. Branson joined the dive for a personal motive in addition to being a thrill seeker. He had been fighting for the protection of 30% of the world's waters by 2030 through his 30 by 30 initiative. He wanted to see immediately how even an apparently untouched gem like the Great Blue Hole has been damaged by human activity, pollution, plastic rubbish, and climate change. The team's mission, therefore, had two goals. First, to use state-of-the-art 3D sonar and submersible technologies to comprehensively examine and map the hole. Secondly, to examine how human presence influences this natural wonder. Was the Great Blue Hole really the untouched marvel that Cousteau had previously captured on camera, or had humankind already etched its imprint here in the Caribbean? The voyage brought together some of the most skilled oceanographers, engineers, and filmmakers in the world, led by Branson and Cousteau. From directing sonar scans to making sure the submarine's life support systems were stable under great strain, each had an important duty to play. Despite the team's planning and experience, a significant concern remained. How would they genuinely reach the bottom? The answer would have to be technology, a specially designed submarine that could survive the lethal poisons and crushing pressure below. One thing was certain as the final plans were created, this would not be your normal dive. It would be an expedition into the heart of one of the world's last unanswered mysteries one that promised to reveal the truth about both what lay at the bottom of the blue hole and how humans affected the planet that supports us. Thus, even if their goal was to explore the blue hole, how are they going to get there? Watch this space to discover it. 
An investigation into the heart of the abyss the mission was never meant to be easy. Everyone engaged was aware of the dangers. Irregular ocean currents, tremendous underwater pressure, and the countless unknowns that may be encountered in the depths. Yes, the Great Blue Hole was a natural wonder, but anyone who wasn't prepared could end up dead. The team needed equipment that could resist the extreme conditions without putting any lives in danger in order to survive this dive. The expedition crew made its conclusion following months of careful planning and investigation. They would use two state-of-the-art submarines, the Stingray 500 from Aquatica and the Eidable from the Roten Institute of Deep Sea Exploration. These were engineering wonders rather than merely costly toys. The crew received both protection and visibility from the submarines, which were built to resist tremendous pressure, a special combination in deep sea exploration. The crew looked to be floating freely through the water because of each sub's large glass dome. They could see the huge, otherworldly blue reaching in all directions from within. This unhindered vision was vital for spotting complexities, structures, or living organisms that may otherwise be missed in the dark depths, not only for the show. But visibility would not be enough on its own. They had to see beyond what was visible to the human eye. They employed Kongsberg Mezeteca's state-of-the-art military sonar technology to do this. The system was absolutely innovative. It could map the entire terrain with astonishing accuracy, even in complete darkness. With each sonar ping, a finely detailed image of the seafloor was created, showing slopes, ridges, and even hidden formations hidden beneath layers of sand and silt. With the use of this equipment, the team was able to map the Great Blue Hole in previously unachievable ways. For the first time in human history, we were prepared to go deeply into one of the planet's most perplexing holes using accuracy and clarity rather than guesswork or shaky pictures. The task now appeared to be within grasp of accomplishment. Nevertheless, none of them could provide an answer to the question of what they may encounter down there. This is the outcome of months of preparation. Every safety measure had been taken by the explorers, scientists, and engineers. The submarines were tested, the routes were planned, and the sonar was calibrated. The expedition was finally ready to depart under the dazzling Caribbean sun. As command and communication hubs, two yachts floated over the Great Blue Hole. They connected the surface crew with the submarines below, acting as the main foci of the operation. Not only would this dive reach the bottom, but it would also be televised live to everyone on the planet. It was a groundbreaking choice. It was formerly inconceivable to send video footage from such a distant spot on the globe, hundreds of feet below sea level. However, they succeeded thanks to advanced communication systems and tenacious teamwork. Suddenly, millions of people worldwide could witness history unfold in real time and witness the dive into the unknown as it happened. The world was filled with enthusiasm. As the two submarines started their cautious, methodical descent into the wide blue void, observers marveled. The mission has begun. Humanity was finally peering into the abyss and what they would find would change everything. And so, as the submarines climbed slowly back to the surface, the world held its breath, transformed forever by what they had found beneath the Great Blue Hole. What started out as a journey to map the unknown became a chilling reminder that our planet still holds mysteries that we are yet unable to fully comprehend. The eerie silence at the ocean below, the odd circular patterns, and the preserved remnants all demonstrated how much we still don't know about Earth. Even with all our technology and research, the deep sea remains a place of mystery, beauty, and peril, a world unspoiled by time. But question still lingers. What else lurks in the shadows, just waiting to be found? Until next dive into the unknown, keep curious, stay brave, and never stop exploring.